Hello again, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for another episode of our Safety Hot Topics with Crime Stoppers of Houston. My name is Joshua Webb. And my name is Ernesto Reyes. And this month we get to talk about homelessness. Uh, this year is actually the first year that we are including homelessness in our monthly safety programming, but really it is central to our mission of solving and preventing crime. Um, homeless people are often the victims of some really violent crimes because they are seen as a lot more vulnerable. Um, there aren't as many people looking out for them. Um, so today we get to talk about some myths that we hear around homelessness and clearing some of those up so we can all be safer in, in our cities and our communities. Um, so the first one that we want to talk about is the idea that homeless people are more violent, more likely to be criminals to engage in criminal behavior, when in fact, um, they are no more likely than somebody with a home to engage in criminal behaviors, uh, with the exception of some of the more minor offenses, right? Things like camping ordinances. Um, in the state of Texas, it is illegal to live on public property. Um, things like littering and, and loitering and trespassing, we are going to see homeless people get um, caught up with the police for those things. But in terms of our violent offenses, oftentimes homeless people are victims of those crimes because, again, especially if they're homeless women, teenagers or children, they are seen as a lot more vulnerable um, to those sorts of crimes. The second one that we want to talk about is kind of related to that in that most people that are homeless are abusing drugs or are using alcohol um, when in fact substance use and addiction is not necessarily a cause of their homelessness but a consequence. Um, the life stressors that come along with being homeless, whether it be losing a job, a major medical emergency, escaping domestic violence, um, all of those are going to be stressors that people face in their lives and being in close proximity to drug um, dealers, even other drug users may uh, influence somebody to begin using those substances themselves. Third thing we want to talk about is the myth that homeless people are irresponsible and only homeless because of bad decisions. The truth is that everyone makes mistakes, but the descent into homelessness is not the direct result of choices. Far more often there are sudden illnesses or a sudden loss of a job that causes someone to fall into debt or leads them into eviction. Someone who just may be escaping abuse, domestic abuse, or violence of some kind might just have nowhere else to go. And fourth, Homeless people should just pull themselves up by their bootstraps and go get a job. The truth? Significant portion of homeless people do have jobs, but they just can't afford to pay rent. For those that don't have jobs, getting one can be incredibly difficult. If you lack clean clothes, the ability to shower, reliable transportation, a permanent address, a phone number, or don't have an ID, getting a job is almost impossible. Pile on the stigma of being homeless and maybe having a criminal record or some kind of learning disability or just a lack of education. There are really not many options. Those are just a few of the myths that we hope to dispel in our community. But if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at crime-stoppers.org. We'll see you next month and thank you so much for joining in on our conversation today.